Ladies and gentlemen, I just went on one of the biggest news programs in the United Kingdom. It also airs around the world. It is the BBC One Sunday show, Sunday Politics. And they had a Bilderberg Group member, uh, the shadow secretary of the Exchequer, or their finance minister, their IRS boss, their treasury secretary. They had Ed Balls here, and I was able to shoot a video that we're going to upload and put on Infowars.com, along with this one, where I confronted Balls about the Bilderberg Group. Now, when he did it out in the green room, when Balls left and I went on for a debate, uh, they were already escorting them out of the building minutes later when I came out. So they were throwing them out of the building because he asked Ed Balls some questions. Now, when I was going live on the show, they had uh, one of the steering committee heads of the Bilderberg Group talking for one of the first times ever to the BBC. So we told you a few days ago they'd be speaking on record, they'd be going public. It was done to the BBC. We told you that, so that report was documented because we're conspiracy theorists. We knew from MI5 sources three days before that they were going to be going public like you just witnessed. I was told that in a meeting with the police and others. I'll just leave it at that. And we put it out on Infowars.com. Drudge Report picked it up. Now, the bigger issue here is he's sworn an oath uh, to have a secretary there in any type of governmental discussion meetings. And Bilderberg certainly does that. And he's violated his oath. Ed Balls and all the other people like the Prime Minister Cameron that went to this thing and now they're just flaunting it. The reason they wanted to keep it secret is because what they're doing is illegal here. It violates the Logan Act, federal law in the U.S. And they go, well, that isn't enforced. Just like it's a felony for the NSA to spy on us without warrants and run these dragnets. But they just get away with it. So as we force all this out, that's good. But it's also bad because people just go, well, we always knew that. So see, we're being proven right. But uh, here's Paul Watson to discuss those videos, but this is historic. I want to add one more thing. When he started telling me shut up on the show, that's when I said shut up back to him. And people will spin it and they'll say, oh my gosh, Alex Jones, you know, blew it. He should have been calm. That doesn't go over in England. If I would have been calm, it would have aired on that one show and not the dozens of TV shows it's now going to air. And they're going to go check out my information at Infowars.com, just like with Piers Morgan. People say you shouldn't have gotten Piers Morgan's face and said, if you try to take our firearms, 1776 will commence again. Folks, I'm, I'm, I'm nonviolent offensively. I'm violent to defend myself defensively. But Paul Revere wrote around saying, to arms, to arms, get ready to kill people. They're coming to take our guns. And we're like, yeah, that's an American icon. Then I say, don't try to take our firearms or it'll probably start a war. And it's, oh my gosh, it's too much. This is the domestication process that we see everything going through. And so they wanted to have it all be a nice, easy thing of, oh, sit back and be quiet, sit back and be calm, that'll get things done, just, you know, uh, grin and bear it. No. The answer to the 1984 tyranny is 1776. Paul Watson, we're going to upload this video first. The others are coming. But tell people exactly what you saw and what happened when you, when you confronted the Bilderberg Group member. Yeah, well, Ed Balls had just finished his interview before Alex came on. He was walking out of the, the Brutus Broadcast Studio confronted him and said, you know, you've, you've broken your ministerial code. He said, I'm not a minister. Well, he is. He signed up for that in 2005, so he's lying there, asked him about the secret meeting, what they talked about, refused to answer, and left. And then we left the building. And again, you brought that up, and that's when they got upset, because that's what they don't want to discuss. And, and the host of the show talked to him before he came out in yeah. the green room and said, well, tell us what's going on. Yeah. So, so what do you think, and I've even asked you your view of this yet, what do you think of uh, my performance in there? And by the way, he said, I think that's an act, which it's not. They were calling it my performance. How do you think that'll be received? Uh, I think it'll be received negatively at first, but then over time it'll become iconic. Well, yeah, it's mixed. It's the same with the Piers Morgan, but if you don't act like that, then you're not going to get on the BBC. That's Alex Jones. That's why he's on the BBC. So I missed half of it because I was confronting Ed Balls, from, but from what I saw... You stayed on target, you stayed on the facts, and then you exploded at the end, which is what we all expect and which is what everyone wants. So, Exactly. It's time to get out of your trance. I had so many psychiatrists, psychologists, propaganda experts, people that work for the system but have gone against them, tell me that what we did with Piers Morgan and here and other shows breaks people out of the trance, out of their normalcy, out of that kind of subdued, relaxed. We shouldn't be relaxed. We're being spied on. We're being poisoned. We're being robbed. I mean, I'm in there. And I try to bring up how they're taking billions of dollars and giving it to foreign banks. And they just didn't want to talk about that. 
This is direct taxation like Cyprus, where they take money out of your bank account and give it to private individuals and go, well, the Cyprus are corrupt. Uh, they're all gangsters. No, these people are the gangsters. They always demonize you before they rob you. And it's time for people to stop complying with all this crap. Again, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say great job to my entire crew back in Austin as well, but Paul Watson, Leanne McAdoo, and, of course, uh, Richard Reeves, and all the other people that have helped us. And we're here in beautiful London, England. Uh, more reports coming up, but we've just confronted Bilderberg. I'm Alex Jones signing off from the BBC for InfoWars.com.